So today we are going to be talking about life share games that you can access in our on-demand resources. Um, games are an awesome way to provide entertainment and brain exercise for your residents, but also they provide a really easy to plan and a zero prep activity for you. Uh, so before we begin, we did want to ask you just a couple of questions. Um, the first question that we have for you is how often do you currently play our life share games? So if you have got your smartphone with you, go ahead and take that out and you can text a code to 22333 to let us know how often you play life share games. Um, so if it's once a week, then you're going to text the code 42528 to 22333. So hopefully that makes sense. You can also respond here at the top um, using the link that is provided. So let us know, how often are you currently playing Life Share Games? Maybe it's not a resource that you've utilized yet. Maybe it's something that you guys do on a frequent basis in your community. Just let us know. Okay. Awesome, thank you. We have another question for you. For those of you that do currently play Life Share games, which one is a resident favorite? Very good. Well, we're gonna show you um, a sneak peek of most of these games today, so you'll get a chance to see what each of them one each of them has to offer. Um, but one more question for you. Uh, which life share game are you most interested in learning a little bit more about? Um, maybe there are some games here that are familiar to you that you've played frequently and some maybe you don't know quite as much about or haven't really experienced yet. All right, Cosmic Patterns. We can definitely cover that one today. Thank you so much for participating in those polls. It's fun for us to hear how often these things are being utilized and what your favorites are. So our agenda for today during our webinar is going to be to discuss some of the benefits of using LifeShares games, how to access these games, and then also a brief overview of some of the resident favorites that we know are near and dear to our residents' hearts, uh, and then also some game options to better meet your residents' needs and recommended games for memory care. So we'll go ahead and jump right in first by showing you a testimonial of what some of our Life Share clients have had to say about using games in their community. So I'll give you just a second to read through that. And just reiterate that games serve as a great group activity in your community, but they can also serve as an individual activity as well. Um, a lot of our games have categories that are going to help you find out your residents' interests and really help you with one-on-one -on -one time, as well as keep their cognitive skills sharp. So some of the benefits of using Life Share games is that they are very user friendly. Um, there's a picture of our remote here in the bottom right. It is simple to use. Um, the black buttons are going to navigate through the system. Uh, so you can use the arrows and the OK button to navigate, which should be pretty simple. Um, then they're also adaptable to all skill levels. So we'll talk a little bit today about some of our specific games and how you can cater them to your residents' specific needs. Like I mentioned before, you can also get to know your residents' interests and abilities based on the variety of games and the categories that we have available. And finally, it's going to help keep your residents' cognitive skills sharp. Um, our games are fun to play, so not only do they provide fun and competition, um, but they do help give your residents some brain exercise and they also provide them with opportunities to reminisce. So in order to access the games, when you are standing in front of a community share device, you're gonna take that white life share remote and press the black OK button. 
That black OK button is going to take you to what we call our home screen, um, which actually you can see here on the bottom picture. And you can either use the shortcut by using your right arrow and then the down and OK button to select play a game. Or you can stay on that left hand side, navigate down through the channels and select the games channel. And then it's going to come up with a list of our available games. You can select your game and get started from there. So we feel that there is really a little something for everyone um, to enjoy in the Life Share games. We have everything from chess and tic-tac-toe to things like Name That Prune, which is kind of a different version of Name That Tune, which we'll talk about, and also Guess What. Um, some of the games that we hear the most about as being favorites of the residents that we work with are Name That Croon where the residents have to guess a song title or artist. Uh, guess what is another favorite where they guess the picture based on the category. Uh, word search is another favorite where they simply hunt for words just like you would um, you know in an activity book word search. And then the last one is chasm and that is where we do the color and shape matching and they have to figure out a pathway to get from one side to the other. Um, so as I mentioned before we do have a wide variety of games. I'm sure there is a game in there that is going to meet your residents needs. So we do have a few different gameplay options. Um, when you are picking a game in a group setting, you definitely want to make sure you're choosing a game that is going to be conducive to playing in a team or taking turns. Uh, so we do have some games that are catered to those uh, different ways of playing with a team or also taking your turns. Um, the teamwork games are gonna allow your residents an opportunity to collaborate as they come up with an answer um, or complete a task. The turn taking is going to give an individual resident a chance to shine, uh, but they still get to be collaborating and sharing in that experience with others. And then obviously we have some games that you can use for individual play as well. These are great if you just want to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with a resident and um, get to know them a little bit better or maybe work on some specific skills with them. We do have many games that are suitable for memory care. So the games that we're going to highlight today are all great games for any unit of your community, but specifically for memory care. Um, again, but they are enjoyed by all. Those games are Name That Croon, Cosmic Patterns, Math Monsters, um, Word Search, The Chasm Game Again, and then Guess What and Tic-Tac-Toe. So we're going to go through those games in a little bit more detail now so that you have a sneak peek and kind of a better idea of what each specific game entails. So the first game that we are gonna talk about is the game that's called Name That Croon. And this is a game that is gonna work on cognitive skills like memory recall, attention, auditory processing. And it's a really fun game because you get to choose a category and listen to music from all the different genres. Um, the residents then earn points by guessing either the artist or the title of the song correctly. Um, so when they first choose this game, they can choose a genre. Um, so this is where you can kind of get to know your residents, maybe pick a category of music or genre of music that you know some of them in particular love. And from there, it's going to start playing the song, and then you have to guess the artist or the title. Um, another adjustment that you can use when playing this is you can use some verbal cues to prompt. As they're listening to the song, if they're having trouble thinking of the title or the artist, you can help them out. But there's also a way that you can click the hint button, and it's going to offer up a hint so that they can better guess the answer. Um, our favorite extension activity with this one is even after they've guessed the correct answer, you can listen to that song in its entirety. So there have been many times we visited a community and they're playing this game um, and they've gotten the answer right, but they're just sitting there and kind of enjoying a little sing-along, listening to the rest of that song. Um, so that's a super fun one for residents to do. 
The next one that we're going to talk about is the guess what game. Um, this is a game that they have to identify who or what is in each picture of the category. So there are a variety of different categories that we have for residents to choose from. We've tried to pick topics um, that are going to appeal to a wide variety of interests. The picture that you're seeing on screen right now is from a category called Fall Fun. So all of the pictures would relate to that topic. Um, there are a couple different ways that residents can play this game. They can do the casual mode where you just click next letter as they're guessing what it is and it's gonna reveal one letter at a time. But if you have got some competitive residents um, and maybe you wanna do a turn-taking mode or something like that with this game, then you can do the scored game and that is where it's gonna provide the letters for you and then the residents actually have to spell that word correctly um, and put the correct letter in the blank. So a couple different options for you to play that game. This is a great one to work on memory, um, language, some visual processing, but it's also just a nice opportunity for them to be able to reminisce, to have a conversation about the category topic, um, and maybe even come up with some different things that could have been included in that topic. So again, this is an awesome one, a huge resident favorite in the communities that we work with. All right, so Cosmic Patterns. This is the one that you guys were hoping to learn a little bit more about. Um, this is another great game to work on cognitive skills like attention. Um, it's a great one for memory because it is a memory game um, and then also your visual and spatial processing. So for Cosmic Patterns, the residents have to memorize where the stars were located in order to advance the levels. Um, when they play this game, there are some different levels. They can choose the easy level. That's going to encourage them to find anywhere from one to four stars on the memory game board. They can play the medium level, which is gonna encourage them to find two to five stars. And the hard level is going to be four stars and more. Um, so once they have found those hidden star patterns, it's gonna show the stars, then it's gonna turn them over just like you would in a memory game. They have to remember where those are. Once they have found the hidden star patterns, it will advance to the next level. And then it's gonna read a fun cosmic fact to them. Um, so that's kind of a nice extension too, is that when they do get it correct, they can learn some secrets of the cosmos and you can have a discussion about those things as well. So that is Cosmic Patterns. If you guys had any specific questions about that one, don't hesitate to pop those in the chat box. Kelly is keeping an eye on that for us. Um, the next game that we wanted to talk about is Math Monsters. And this is kind of a fun little game where you have to protect the school by solving the math problems, save them from the monsters. Um, so this is gonna work on their cognitive skills, memory, sequencing, visual processing, just keep those brains sharp um, by doing a little bit of math. You can adjust the level, excuse me, adjust the level that you are playing on this game as well. Um, you can do the easy math, which would just be single digit addition and subtraction. We have medium math, which would be double digit addition and subtraction. And then the hard, which would be triple digits addition and subtraction. So if you have some residents that you know love math, um, this would be a great game for them to play as well. And this is a nice one for turn taking. Um, you can see we kind of switched over from games that were recommended to play as teamwork games to turn taking games. So the second one in this category is our word search game. The word search game is gonna work on a lot of the same categories and skills for your residents, such as attention, um, perception. It's also gonna be a great opportunity to work on language skills and then also that visual and spatial processing. Um, each week we have a new word search category available, but the game does rotate automatically through our entire database. Um, so this one, it will just pop up with a category for you rather than you going in to choose it. 
And again, like in the Math Monsters game, there are some different levels that you can choose from. If you choose the easy route, the words will be spelled either right from left to right or up to down. Um, if you choose the medium, they're going to be spelled up, down, left, and right. Uh, and then the hard category, they're going to be spelled in any direction, including diagonally. Um, so again, you can adjust your levels on this one. And another extension of this activity might be to have a discussion about the category. What other words could have been included in this category um, and things like that. So again, just some great opportunities for good conversation with your residents. The next great game for turn taking is going to be Chasm. And this is a game that again covers a wide variety of cognitive skills that you can see listed there for you. Um, in this game, the object is to match colors and shapes in order to move the guy across the bridge. Um, so to play, you're gonna click the play button and um, navigate using the arrows to get the professor across the bridge. Um, if you stay too long to figure out your next move, then the steps will crumble and it does kind of take you back and you have to go through that level again. So this is a nice one for you to have an opportunity before your residents take control of that remote to navigate the professor across to visualize and trace the path. Um, so for example, in this one, they have to either go to a shape that is the same or a color that is the same. So he could navigate to the red heart, he could navigate down to the black heart because they're the same shape, could navigate to the black star because they're the same color, from the black star to the black square, again, because they're the same color. Um, so a great thing for you to kind of talk through that with them ahead of time and visualize or even trace that path kind of with your finger in front of the screen and work through that together. Um, some extensions for this one. Uh, if you wanted to have an art activity, they could do something with colors and shapes. Um, some counting activities, different things like that that are just going to help them recognize those patterns and visualize those paths. So the last game that we're going to cover today in our webinar is the tic-tac-toe game. This is a great game to play individually, um, or you could even play it as a turn-taking game. It does cover a wide variety of cognitive skills. Um, and this one, one of the best adjustments that we have to offer for this game is you can start out by playing in that center square. That's going to make it a little bit easier. Um, but if your residents start with a square other than the center square, that is a great way to kind of advance the skill level on that um, and makes it a little bit more difficult for them to win. And on this game, you are playing against the computer. All right, so that was a quick look at some of our Life Share games. Hopefully, you saw some new games that you are excited to try. So, that's what we would love to find out from you now. Which of these games are you most excited to try? Awesome. Yeah, that's a great game. We enjoy Chasm as well. You can use the chat box too if that's easier. Looks like Cosmic Patterns is one that you're eager to play. Great. Yeah. And as Callie mentioned as well, um, you can play these games at any skill level. Um, these are just the ones that our clients have that are particularly great for the memory care setting, um, but they are enjoyed by residents in all units or all care units. Um, so definitely make sure that you take advantage of them no matter which care unit you are working in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead before we leave today and we're just gonna show you a sneak peek of what Cosmic Patterns looks like. So we'll begin by picking our skill level. We chose the easy. So you can see it's just like a memory game. Showed us where that star is. We now have to navigate over to find it. There it is. And now it's gonna give us a secret of the cosmos. So it gives you a fun fact after you get the answer correct.
And it is timed. You might have noticed the countdown there on the left-hand side. Very good. So a fun game that appeals to many. It'll teach you some secrets of the stars all at the same time. So finally, we're gonna hop, oh, we're gonna go back into one more game. <laughs> Let's take a look at Chasm. That was one that I know you guys were most excited to try as well. So we have our professor now. You can see we just have to navigate by matching the shape or the color to get to the other side. Once they've made it successfully, it'll give you that congratulatory message and then you can advance to the next level. All right, so finally we have got some resources to share with you today. Um, there is a games guide, it's a PDF that is available on our website. This is a great thing for you to print off if you have activity staff members that are gonna be leading a game for you. You can simply access the pages out of this document that apply to the game you'd like them to try, print those off, hand that over to them, and then they can take that and very quickly enjoy that activity with residents with little to no prep time. We also have a guide here that is the group game activity resource for memory care. So it's just gonna give you some ideas of games that are great to use with your memory care residents. Then we have a couple of vlogs listed here that you can watch in your free time as well. They're all two to three minutes in length, super short, um, but it's gonna give you just another quick overview into accessing our on-demand games. So finally, if you have any additional questions about the on-demand games, we'd love for you to type them in the chat box for us so that we can address those. Or if you have any other questions about accessing on-demand resources, you can let us know there. We do thank you so much for your time today. Again, we know how busy you are and we truly appreciate when you take time out of your busy schedule to learn a little bit more about what LifeShare has to offer for you and your residents. We would love to have you attend our next webinar. It's going to be on November 12th at 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the topic is gonna to be implementing new technology in a senior living panel. Um, so we're excited to try a different format for our next webinar um, that involves some of you a little bit more um, and gives you the opportunity to ask them some questions. So those of you that are in the field every day, um, we're gonna enlist some of your help to be on that panel and you can ask some questions about implementing new technology um, and our LifeShare products. So we'd love to have you join us for that. Um, if you have any other topics that you would like featured during our monthly webinars, We'd love for you to type those in the group chat box. Again, you guys are the ones out there every day um, in the field working with residents and we get our best ideas and suggestions from you. So we'd like to know what we can do to best help you and make your lives a little easier. So if there are some things that you've been wanting to know, go ahead and type those in the chat box for us. And then finally, we're gonna go ahead and put up our contact information. Uh, if you have any questions about our LifeShare games or anything else LifeShare related, feel free to use that email address to reach one of our six team members on the LifeShare support team. We'd be happy to help you. Uh, you can also call us, or when you're working in LifeShare, you also have a chat bubble that you are welcome to use um, if you're working on adding content and have a question or something like that. Um, we do definitely encourage you to follow us on social media. We are on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and we offer a lot of valuable tips and tricks that we would love to share with you on that platform. And we'd also love for you to follow Spectrio, our, company, our parent company as well. Um, we have broadened our product offerings to send marketing and on-hold messaging, all sorts of great things that could definitely benefit your community. So give them a follow as well to learn about other product offerings that we now have available. 
Again, thank you, thank you for your time today. We truly appreciate it and hope that you found this helpful and that you are excited to go back to your community and play some of these great games with residents. And if you have any questions, again, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We will stick around in the chat box for a little longer just in case you have any further questions today. But thank you again so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Have a great afternoon.